that's what we're looking for here is trying to teach teach our our you know our team members you know our leaders uh, a system that's going to allow them to get success in the uh, maximum amount of set success in the minimum amount of time and when i first started using your uh, uh the hour a day system with my with my linkedin uh prospecting uh to connect with 10 people a day which is what we're teaching people a simple amount uh, of 10 people a day, it would take me about 10 to 15 minutes to make those connections and connect all the dots and copy and paste and do that. Now, with all the things, and we'll be sharing that exactly how it works uh, with everybody uh, today, you know, I can do that in about five minutes, literally about 30 seconds a person to be able to connect. Well, that doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're doing like some people using using the hour a day system, Dennis, are connecting with not 10 people a day, not 50 people a day. They're connecting with, with 100 or more people a day and they want to see their business happen faster. So, um, you know, what would be the best way to, to get started on that, Dennis? Should we go right into showing them? Uh, we, we've got a LinkedIn uh, dummy LinkedIn account set up. We've got a, uh, a test hour a day account set up. Uh, maybe it would be good just to show everybody how simple it is to start using the two thing and connecting the dots. I think you should. I mean, I think you should just go in and start making some connections live and and uh, show show the people how it works and how simple it can be. Uh, and of course, remember, we're talking about making connections on LinkedIn. This is the very initial step of prospecting, right? There's a long road to follow after, but... Um, once you make some connections, maybe we can actually go in and show what some of the after steps are and how it all flows and the decision trees and, and all that kind of stuff so that people can get a handle on what we're actually doing here. It's, it's funneling people to the point of a conversation. Oh, did I say that, Craig? A conversation? conversation. I we could do this all online. No, you got to pick up the phone, Dennis. Let's just jump in. Um, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to jump right into the LinkedIn account. Let's go right into hour a day. So I'm logged into the hour a day and you should just be seeing the hour a day back office right now. Is that what you're seeing? That is. Awesome. So you'll notice, actually, I have a take action. So the last time we did a training, your name, I prospected with you. So we'll be able to take some action today too and show you the second step, which is really cool. So it starts off very simply. Um, you're going to want to make a new connection. So you're going to go to the plus button up here in the corner, which is add a contact. Now you can go over here, calls and contacts, add a contact. That's the long way to do it. But Dennis's guys said, no, let's make it simple and put a little plus button to add a contact. Fantastic yes. way to be able to do that. And then you go into your LinkedIn account. Now, everybody, this is a LinkedIn account that we set up just specifically for that. You say, I only have four connections. It even tells me a bigger network means more opportunities can find you. 30 is a good start. They're saying 30 is a good start. I'm saying let's start with at least 10 and get yourself going. So I'm loving right. some of the things that LinkedIn is doing here. Now, the easiest way to connect is to click on the My Network button, right? Once you're starting to make connections, LinkedIn is going to, to find the connections of your connections. And the best way not to get um, uh, put into LinkedIn jail, and what is LinkedIn jail? LinkedIn jail is when they say you can't connect with people without an email address because you've been a bad uh, boy or a girl in your connections, um, th then, uh, then the system doesn't work. So you don't want that to happen. So here it says, people you may know. And the people you may know are going to have connections with your connections. So if I look down here, you'll, you'll probably find actually me. So there's me because I, I, I'm so I'm going to connect with myself here by clicking on my name and clicking and copying my name. Then I go to the hour a day account. And then this is a new feature, Dennis, that you put in, which is just so cool for the LinkedIn. And I press paste. And as soon as I press the full name into paste, the system, when you click on any other uh, field, automatically puts in my first name and my last name. Now, had I done it differently, if there was an initial in there, Dennis, it's going to add the initial in. So I would then have to come and backspace that initial out because I don't want that name 
to have the initial when I'm connecting with somebody because it's a macro. And, and remember, Craig, there's an efficiency tip to be had here. Um, go ahead and paste your name again. I'll show you something cool. You want me to paste my name again here? Yeah, paste your name again there. Paste. And instead, of, instead of clicking anything, just hit tab. Hit tab? Okay. Oh, that'll automatically do it as well, will it? Okay. Yeah, so you can actually work your mouse and keyboard simultaneously, okay. which actually saves you some clicks, which actually saves you even more time. So now you should be down to four minutes I'm and even 22 go one, seconds. I'm going to go one better with you, Dennis. You don't even have to click tab. I don't do that. I go straight down to subscribe to LinkedIn pre-connect. It's already yep. done. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't have to step in there. And then you click the quick add button. That's it, folks. Paste. Put them in the LinkedIn pre-connect and quick add. And then immediately this take action button is going to show up over here on the uh, uh, the, the right corner. We're currently now, what's happened is we've added a new contact. Go ahead and close that close that dialog box for a second, okay. Greg. Yeah, sure. So we've actually clicked on, where we are right now is we're actually in the contact record. So if you scroll down to show them, you can see that down here is all the information we have, which is just the LinkedIn stuff, the ability to make notes, the ability to set priorities and everything. So what happens is after you add a contact, you're into the actual contact manager record for that contact. And what you're seeing at the very top is the fact that you've scheduled an action. So just, just so people understand that this is actually the full contact record and nice and convenient to the top, it's reminding that you have an action to take because it's a new contact and you add into a series. So now go ahead and hit take action, Craig. Sure. The other thing to note that the only thing that we've done so far in the notes that I was automating, it was just subscribe them to the LinkedIn pre-connect series. Yes. Right. And and that's what we can say. And we know what the date that we did it. We haven't set a follow-up date. It, it gave a priority of two as a default. And we just got first name, last name. We don't care right now at this point about their company, about their phone number, about their email, their address, where they are, their time zone. We don't care about that right now. Nope. We want to see if they're going to connect with us and accept our connection. So you go take action. And this is automatically set up for you. I see that we have some common connections and interests, Craig. I wanted to connect to see how we might be able to help each other. And then my name. Nice and simple. You can come in here and customize it. We suggest that you do. Yep. You know, if you know what those connections are, the more customized this is, the better when you're connecting. Yeah, and let's, then let's expand. Wait, let's expand upon that. But what we mean by customizing it is you're going to set your autoresponders or use the default ones from the system, and it pops all of the default content here. But if you can add one sentence to this message that is specific to something on their LinkedIn profile or asks a question specific, so instead of saying common connections and interests, Craig, you might say common connections and interests like the fact that you're also a soccer fan. The more you can add that extra four seconds to plug something in that makes that person know that you looked at their profile and you're not completely automated and you're making a comment about something in their profile, your engagements yeah. will skyrocket. So I see you are in Vancouver. I yes. love that city. Something simple. Just simple like that is going to increase your engagements dramatically because they're not going to feel spammed. And it's now become more personal. You've taken time to look at their profile. I hate these people that approach me saying, hey, tell me more about yourself. I just want to reply back, me, my, read my damn profile. <laughs> exactly. So now to say what you're going to do, you're going to click the copy button. And then you're going to go. And once you click the copy button, you're going to go to LinkedIn. Now, I'm going to show you the slow version. It's going to LinkedIn first because I want to show you how it works. So copy, it's automatically copied unless you have a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We have Mac users. It doesn't work on a Mac. You got to actually go and highlight it and then copy. Only way it works on a Mac, Mac prevents it from the copy from working. So I've been told. I don't use a Mac, Dennis. Neither do I. Then you go and you go to your LinkedIn. And then you're going to go in to click the connect button. And it even tells you, you can customize the invitation. LinkedIn members are more likely to accept invitations that includes a personal note. We're going to add that note and then we're going to paste it. Control V is paste or right click and paste, which is slower. Control V using your mouse and your fingers is faster. And even that extra sentence that I put in there now is added. And then send the invitation. 
So once the invitation has been sent, go back to hour a day. And this is another great feature that I love that you added, Dennis. I have sent the message, but because right now I'm only adding contacts, if I click I have sent the message, it won't go to the add a contact link unless I check this box. So I check that box, go to add contact, and now when I click I've sent the message, Craig's gone, and now the system goes to add a new contact. So what should I do now? Go back to LinkedIn, go back to people you may know, Find somebody that I may know, and uh, we'll grab uh, somebody here that we may know here. Let's just see who can we grab. Let's grab um, my friend David. And then we highlight David, and we copy, and then we go to hour a day. Guess what? We go paste. We go LinkedIn pre-connect, quick add. This is how quick it works, everybody. You don't need to think about it. It then goes to take action, copy. I have sent the message. I do that right away because now I'm literally going through the entire same motions that you did in 30 seconds instead of three or four minutes. Yep. And, and you could take an extra five seconds when you have him open to see something about his profile to make that little customization. You may go back to taking 10 minutes to do 10 connections, but you might make considerably higher quality no connections by doing that. Yeah, there you are. Lost you for a second when I turned it off. So apparently there's a little bit of a time delay. So what were you saying there, Dennis, about um, the customization? Oh, I said, well, yeah, I said that while you, while you have the profile. So let's add another one, Craig, but this time uh, linger on the profile before you cut and paste and have a quick scan of the profile to find something that you can customize the message with so that we okay. can show that process because you get better engagements. Uh, let's do that then. So let's go back to sharing a screen. Uh, let's grab Mark. Mark Hughes, yes. So Mark Hughes is the VP Global Sales at Pay Quicker. And we happen to both know Mark Hughes because uh, yeah. he's in Vancouver. And you can find out, you see it shows the mutual connections. I see Dennis's little face right here because he's connected to him. That's cool. Yep. So uh, I can go and say, hey, I see you're new. He was at HyperWallet for six years, and he's new with his new business, Quick uh, Pay Quicker. And so when I go and do now the custom message, I know a little bit more about him. So I can go to copy, and then I go to hour a day and paste and pre-connect and quick add. And then I go to take action and now i can cut i see we so this doesn't make any sense because we know mark so now i could literally go hey mark how is the new company going simple yep and then boom i wanted to connect see i'm gonna be able to help each other um that actually won't make sense in this case so I'm telling him what I'm doing, and, and because we're doing it as a test, this is a test account for our new system. Because it won't make any sense to somebody. This is live data here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so then I go copy. I go back to Mark. I go connect. I go add a note, and I go paste, and I send the invitation, and then I have sent the message. So it literally happens quickly. It's easy to do. And then what you're waiting for, Dennis, I'm clicking the check mark now in the top corner, which is our action list, which is the same as clicking the home button. But it's nice when everything's in one spot. And so when we did this before, Dennis, you were one of the people that I put in the system. And then you accepted my connection. What we're waiting for is these people to accept our connection. And you'll usually get in the messaging feature when somebody accepts your connection, they'll literally say, here's somebody that accepted my connection. This was done in our last session. So Kieran did. And I could say here, I could click on, on him now. So now what I would do is I need to put Kieran into a follow-up series through LinkedIn. 
So I'm going to go and grab his information because now I care about her QR, uh, who Curon is, and I'm going to copy his profile so I know what it is. Now I go to hour a day, and I click, I type in his name, Curon, and he shows up over here in this quick link. Another great feature that you added, Dennis. I click on Curon, and now... I know he's a contact in LinkedIn, so I'm going to add LinkedIn as a contact method. And I'm going to paste in his LinkedIn information and click the check mark. Now I'm going to teach everybody a cool little trick here. Since LinkedIn is the primary method that you're going to probably be using the system, go to the manage contact methods. You only have to do this once and change LinkedIn. So it's over here to a 10, an update. That'll bring LinkedIn right to the top of the page so you don't need to scroll down to find it. So we'll go back to our contact, little things to make your life easier. And now Curon is in the MLM industry. So I have two different series, Dennis. I have a, when I subscribe him to a series, We've created a MLM Post Connect series and a product Post Connect series. And when you're connecting with an MLMer, you want to find out if they're open or if they're focused. And that's why you're not going to go and start pitching them on your company and products right away. So you're going to add them to the MLM Post Connect series, which we will go in and show how to customize. Then you click Add. Guess what happens now? The Take Action button shows up. Now we're going to take action. And you can see what it says here. Thanks for accepting me into your network. Always great to connect with another MLM professional. It puts his name in there. Kieran, I like to help make our connection mutually beneficial. I am polling the MLM contacts I have on LinkedIn. I'd like to know if you're currently using a contact manager prospecting system. And if so, which one are you using? How do you like it? So I click copy. Then I go over here into the messaging. And then I click a message to him. And I paste the message. And then I send the message. So that's how that works, uh, Dennis, when you're following up as soon as they connect with you. Once you've done that, I don't want to go to add a contact anymore. I uncheck that box and I click, I have sent the message. So this is the way you take your connections and now put them into a follow-up. Anything you wanted to add there, Dennis? One go of ahead. the things I did want you to show off was the transfer series because it's so critical when you hit the decision tree. So I really wanted you to show off on the action list when you're in the take action and you've now gone from the pre-connect series to they've connected, how simple it is right on that interface to drop them out of the pre-connect series and into the next series based upon the way the conversations develop because that's sort of one of the key power points uh, of the system is allowing you to follow those decision trees that you've already pre-set up very, very easily when you're in that take action modal. Well, let's go there then. So let's say I've connected with Dennis and now I'm going to take action. And in here, we have a transfer series. So now I've decided that as an MLM contact, Dennis uh, is now interested and he's open and wants to hear about our products. So I can transfer him now into the LinkedIn product post connect series or any other series that you have created and then click transfer series. So now you'll see he's in the after connection with a prospect and product post connect, take action. And then um, we just made this generic. So it just says, thanks for accepting me into your network. Always great to connect with him. Now I'm gonna have to customize that because he's already accepted me. So I delete that. I asked, you know, hit, open to learning about our new product line made right here in my city, my country. So you're gonna have your customized product information and links here. So that's how you easily move them from one series to another. Then you can copy 
And then I would go back into my conversation with Dennis in messaging. Bring it in now. There it is. So I go now and I type in Dennis's name when you've got a long list and it'll go right to Dennis. Then I can click on his name and then I could paste in the message, which is the next message and click send. Uh, so the, the key to the LinkedIn system is trying to keep a conversation that is stalled and to keep it going and to engage the person into actually wanting more information so you pick up the phone and make a uh, and make a call an introduction call a get to know you call a yet you know yes i'm interested in talking call you've now done the demo of how to use linkedin with hour a day which is fantastic um i'm not sure what the next thing that might be logical to show off is um but um I don't know if we go deeper into how you actually set that up and how the series look and all that, or if that's sort of good enough to get people the flavor of your LinkedIn system. But uh, the fact is the LinkedIn system is a way to collect a bunch of leads and contacts, uh, warm them up to the point where real conversations can happen or friendships can form. And of course, by using that decision tree and the transfer series, you can continue to give them information based upon what they're interested in instead of some general track of information that will eventually just frustrate them. So, um, you know, you, you, you just, you got to get into the process and, and fill your pipeline and be respectful with people. Uh, respectful LinkedIn prospecting leads to big things. I know, Craig, you've even managed to trip across some fairly large leaders in a transition point as a result of it. Now, they didn't just join. I think you've been working on a couple of them for two or three months. But the reality is, if it wasn't for your LinkedIn system, you wouldn't have known that they were leaders in transition. So it works but you have to work the system. Now, Craig, those leaders in transition, if you would have missed follow-ups and not actually treated them with respect, what do you think the chances are they'd still be listening to you? Well, I don't think there'd be any chance, Dennis, uh, that they would have even had a conversation with me at all if I had gone like everybody else on LinkedIn, gone straight into pitch mode uh, on my company, not asking if they were open or focused um, my, my, when I connect with MLM professionals out there, I need to be a professional. And so many people don't read profiles, don't care. They've got a long list that they copy and paste with all their links. And they literally are just trying to sell you on their business. And they don't ask if you're open or focused. Greg Stewart, our mentor, taught us, you know, ask the simple question. Open or focus, you know, not, you know, the, you show me yours, I show you mine. That doesn't work. Uh, and it's not respectful. So uh, I shared the system and said, hey, I see you're in network marketing. Here's a cool system that I use, uh, you know, to prospect on LinkedIn. I wrote an article. You might be interested. It led to a conversation. I found out that they were open. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for leaders that are open, not leaders that are happy. So, yeah, so I think I got enough of that to, to, to respond. And uh, yeah, so I mean, it was persistence, it was professionalism, and it was respect that led you to possibly having a massive, massive, massive leader come on board. So, you know, everyone out there just understand that the system works, the process works, but you got to work the system. And it doesn't happen by putting five guys in and hoping for the best. You need to be consistent. Well, and let's talk about putting five guys in and hoping for the best. The reality is, is if you're putting your 10 people a day in and it's taking you five to 10 minutes and you do that for a month and you now have 300 people, what's going to happen is pretty soon you're going to have no time to waste on the people that aren't interested. And that's a little bit of a magical thing when it comes to prospecting. You're really trying to find the people for whom it's the right thing to be doing to partner with you in the business and you want all the rest to go away. And the problem you have when you do a person a day is at the end of the month, you got 31 people and you're desperately trying to get them to respond to you because you're in a scarcity mentality. When you go and do 10 a day by the end of the month, pretty soon you've got so many connections going on and so many interest people and so many products to ship out and so many people to enroll and teach them the LinkedIn system that you just don't have time for the people that aren't interested. That's a magical thing. So it's not about being mean to people. It's just about you're looking for the people for whom it's the right 
thing to be doing. You're not trying to convince people that don't want to do it to do it. Go find the one who's sitting there waiting and looking for an opportunity and appreciated your reproach to decide that they want to join your team because you have a better way. Right. Well, Dennis, it's also important to understand that, you know, it, you know, it is a bit, uh, you know, and I don't like to call it a game, but have fun with it. Uh, be respectful. But, but it is about numbers. And what we've seen over the course of, of, of using the system for the past few months is that if you spend 10 minutes a day, everybody can find 10 minutes a day. But when you ask your team to go out there and find an hour a day to build their business, they're going to come up with every excuse in the world. But 10 minutes over five or 10 minutes with a cup of coffee to make 10 connections is doable for everybody. And that's a big advantage. So the fact that they can go now and connect with 10 people a day in the morning with their first cup of coffee or water or whatever or juice. And now they get into the mode of building their business. And Dennis, what I get excited about is that all during the day, if they have the LinkedIn app, they're getting connection exception requests. And, and they're seeing, I accept your connection. I accept your connection. And it comes and push notifies on your phone. So you get little successes all day long. And then your job at the end of the day if you're at work and you can't do it during the day, immediately when they when they connect with you, is to make sure that you put them into the correct follow-up series. So that little bit of effort is going to create 300, 300 connections in a month if you did 10 a day, of which about 100 will accept your connection, of which about 20 will maybe ask for more information of which about three or four will get to the point of actually having a conversation and one or two will become a customer or a member. That's the numbers, 10 minutes a day. So there you go. Those are the numbers. That's the system. The challenge now is, do you want to use a completely free tool called Hour a Day and a completely free tool called LinkedIn and 10 minutes a day of your time to start changing your future in your current MLM? If the answer is yes, we just gave you the roadmap. You can look at any of our previous 50 or so videos that we've done. There's a whole library of them in the back office of Hour a Day to help you learn how to do the business if you don't know how to do the business. So Hour a Day will help support and mentor you, uh, train you, and help you move towards more success in a respectful way. And we hope that by doing it in a respectful way, we can help to clean up a bit of the reputation in the industry, stop the spamming insanity, and uh, just have everybody make a little bit more money and feel a lot more proud and take a lot less abuse because there's not people out there doing it the wrong way and disrespectfully. Well, Dennis, thanks so much for that. It's uh, I appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule uh, there uh, in, in, in Tokyo. Great to have you here. We'll be here again next week with some more ideas. We'll see you next week. Happy prospecting, everybody, and have yourselves a wonderful week. Good night, everybody.